All right. So the first way that we have to get acid quickly is going to be using one of the refiners found on the map. Um, there's about one in each different zone. Um, so you can find those on the map. It looks like a little silo thing. Now, uh, I do recommend using a preserved deviated chops, as you saw in the video. It will help to get more acid from fighting the things. And then you're going to want a Blackfell refinery permit. Uh, the extraction ones do not work as well. They only give you 40 instead of 80 uh, acid for completing it. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to send enemies to fight you. You have to defend for about four and a half, five minutes. And then this will give you 80 acid in addition to other things. But then using that deviated chops is going to also give you more acid from the enemies that come. So you're going to end up getting even more. So I've got this video sped up a little bit for you um, because I'm not going to make you sit here and watch the entire thing. I was not prepared for this at all. I was just kind of speed running through this. But you can see this was just the easiest one, which still gives the same amount of acid. So if you're looking just to grind acid, you can just do the refinery permit ones because they're going to give the same amount as if you were doing a three. The three is just going to give other rewards more of them. But so you can see here, you know, there's a lot of enemies coming. And then especially with the uh, deviated chops that increase acid drops from enemies, you can rack up quite a good amount of acid just from picking them up on the ground. So I believe in this, it took about six minutes for the whole thing. I got uh, either 80 or 100 acid from completing it, and then I got probably 120 more. So in five minutes, I got about 200 acid here. So I'll go ahead and I'll skip forward to the end of it so you can see the total counts and the rewards for this. That way I don't make you sit here and just watch me fight enemies for a few minutes. Alright, so now that we've finished, uh, here's what we're going to get rewards-wise. So you can see over here, in addition to the other stuff, I ended up getting 100 acid for that. That was just, you know, 4 minutes and 30 seconds. So really quick, then we'll go ahead and show you the total amount of acid that I had at the end. So in this whole thing, which took about setup and everything, maybe six minutes, I ended with, looks like, 192 acid. So we ended up getting about 200 from that. So we'll go ahead and head over to our next one over here. All right, so in this one, you can see this is the cargo scramble. You'll find it, it's a little car on the map moving. Uh, you have to destroy the truck and then the event will start. It is a PvP event, so if there are people around, you can get hurt. Now basically, you get chosen by the quote-unquote seed of life, and you start to accrue these spores um, as you have it on you. And then if you kill other people while it's on your head, then you get points as well for that. Now someone did t tell me one time that hunting animals counted, so I decided to try it out. Uh, you can watch... A here I'm going to shoot a bunch of them. It does not actually give you any more, but I do believe that shooting other players does. Now this, or I guess they're called sproutlets, not spores, I'm sorry. Now this event takes a little bit longer, probably around 10 minutes, but it has a really big payout here. And I believe the higher level, or like the higher level zone you're in when you do it, typically it seems like you're going to get a little bit more. So you just try and control it as long as you can. And then I'll show you the rewards right here. So you can see I've currently accrued 1100 and then I'm going to go get the reward box at the end of it here for another 80. That makes almost 1200. So then we'll go over, you can go to any settlement and you're going to find Nisa. She's the one that has a little sproutlet thing on her head, a little polar jelly. And you can go and you can exchange those sproutlets for acid. Now it costs You'll see right here it costs two acid or sorry two sproutlets per acid and we just got 1200 in about 10 minutes so you can buy them in increments of 100 but there is no limit so that means from what we just did in about 10 minutes we can get 600 acid now i think this is probably the quickest way to get large amounts of acid you just have to find them on the map that's the only downside to these is they're not there all the time 
Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope this is helpful. Uh, if it was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe for me. The more support that I get, the more of these videos I can make for you. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the chat or in the comments. And if you have any other videos you want me to do, also let me know in the comments below. And then I will see you guys next time.